All right, let's do this thing. First thing first, most important step in my opinion, no, other than taking inventory, is to put our quest book on this spot, because that's just how I do. So, without... You've awoken. Really, yeah, 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 we already heard from you. Let's see, what's the first thing we need to do? We need to get a bunch of wood and some flint, of course. Forgive me if I'm a little bit short on niceties, but I find that the first day is always a little bit of a, a dead sprint, because... I need to get myself a safe little bunker dug out. I can't be out here when night falls. I don't have any weapons yet. And even the weapons I am going to get are going to be kind of not very good. So, in regrowth we get flint by punching this stuff. And the old punch trees get wood is, uh, well, it's still true, but it's a bit of a different beast. We get dead wood, sticks, we might also find wood ash and uh, charcoal. I think charcoal is actually a specific type of one. Let's see, is it this dead wood log? No, 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 it, it has a different look. Which one is it? Ah, never mind, I'll look for it when I have time. Right now, I've got to get stuff done. Ah, charred log, that's what it's called. That's where you find charcoal. So yeah, regrowth. This is something new for me. It's kind of something that I want to do to get back into the habit of putting out videos, because I know I've been, I've been gone for a while. I've been dealing with real life, and this is something a little bit different, something I maybe don't have to take quite as seriously as a Let's Read. I mean, I'm sure it's hell not putting it on the Patreon. And it's just something that I can do for fun. Because I seriously have been trying to play this pack for frickin' forever. I don't know. I just kind of peter out once I reach the tech parts. Hmm, charcoal. Need to find charcoal. More of those charred logs. Let's see. Is that one a charred log? Let's see if we can get to it. Yeah. Charred log. That's four charcoal. That's quest complete. We get a little bit of food. Now we need to make the tools. And yeah, two shovels, two axes, because it also wants us to make a mattock. So, two of those, two of those, one of those, no, it's the other way. Yeah, that's how you do pickaxe, okay? And what else? Uh, wooden binding and some tool rods. Wooden binding is that, I believe. And some tool rods. And it should be another quest complete. Hey, at this rate... Oh, no. Mm. Gotta do all the things, of course. So, we need shovel. We need axe. We need mattock. And we need pick. Let's get these in a proper order. There we are. Okay, now we have all the basic tools. Oh, and before I forget, our first crafting bench has to be made this way. And it's best that I do it first, because as soon as this hatchet is damaged, it won't work for the crafting recipe. That, yeah, that, that kind of got me the first couple of times I played. Ended up having to just wait and sulk underground, because I didn't have any flint left pair with. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. So let's choose the wide guard because it gives us a sword blade. We can pair that up with another tool rod. And I believe we can just do this one right in here. And now we have weapon. Yes. So there's our basic tools done and sorted. Now we need to get together some supplies, and we need to dig out a bunker before the sun starts to set. And it's already noon. I told you, this first day is a bit of a dead sprint, so yeah, I'm a little bit... I can't exactly sit and talk to you all. Well, I mean, not that I really have anything to say anyway. I mean, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Oh, really? What the hell am I doing? Yeah, that, that's that's my version of small talk. 
I'm not good at it. Is this enough wood to get by? Where the heck did you come from? <laughs> must be a cave or something. I don't see a cave or something. Hmm. Yeah, noon. Okay, we have more time. Is there a quest I can knock out real quick? Ah, seeds. I want to find some seeds before I dig down, too. That'll be good. All this dead grass doesn't just have the regular variety of seeds. All it has is wheat seeds and belladonna seeds, I believe. But it does have... Yeah, there's belladonna. It does also have clay, bone meal, and a couple of other goodies for us. So, hello. Well, I can get some seeds from that. That's a bit of a lucky find right away. Maybe I should get some ink. Hello, lag. There we go. And also some calamari if I get hungry. Excellent. I like calamari. It's one of my favorite dishes in real life. Hay bales. I believe that these are just compressed wheat, which we can turn into seeds. So that's that done and sorted. It's not far past noon. Let's keep on hitting grass. What the heck? What the heck is happening in my chat? Did I did I hit something? Um, I don't think I meant to hit something. Well, it seems to have died down. So, let's just ignore it and forget that it ever happened. Me, I'm just babbling because I don't do this kind of thing very often, and I have no idea how people do. So yeah, mm, a bit of bone meal. I'm also looking around to see what would be a good place to dig down. I think I'm looking for a nice flat. Cliffside. Hello. No, those are just regular seeds. I thought that was floral fertilizer, which is another thing that you can drop. But yeah, I want a nice flat cliffside, close-ish to some water. Hmm. This is looking promising. Donk. Must be a cave nearby. That kind of. I think that makes me rethink this area's viability. Yes. Okay. This is looking good. Got some flat cliff sides. It's near to water, closest to the ocean. Nice flat basin for me to start building surface buildings on. And it's also getting close to nighttime, so let's dig in, quite literally. I like to make these things three tall, because then it doesn't feel too claustrophobic. Let's dig in a little bit more. Now let's make ourselves an overhang. Nice, ominous-looking entrance. Let's make ourselves some torches, too. And just before night hits, let's get ourselves some doors. I think I need to actually come down a little bit. Oh, and I hear skeletons. I was just in time. Okay, so 
we have ourselves a little cave. Let's start to go underground. Actually, while I'm here, let's make our entrance fancy. There we go. That'll make it easier to get out of here. It'll also ensure that I can't forget to close the door. Alright, let's start to dig down. I'm going to go down a little bit of a fair ways here so that I have plenty of space to dig upwards without worrying about having to build a ceiling. I'm also going to F7 and get my torches back on here. And there we go. How's this looking? Eh, I could make it a little bit more spacious. There we go. Yeah, I don't like having low ceilings. It just doesn't feel friendly, you know? Nice, no worries about bonking my head. Plenty of room. have monsters coming into our base that would defeat the purpose. That's what I was looking for. I have some flint on hand. Not very much, though. I should have hunted more flint. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll hold out. Let's go down until I see a need for one more torch, like right exactly there. So since I just said one more torch, let's go one past this one. Want our base to be a little bit deep. There must be a cave nearby, because I can hear those skeletons. And that's not a good sign. It almost sounds like they're exactly on this level, too. Maybe I shouldn't have dug so greedily or so deep. Nah, there's no history of that going wrong. I'll be fine. Okay. Start to dig ourselves out a chamber. some editing to do in po Ooh, okay. Getting ourselves a nice variety here. I've got marble, I've got diorite, I've got some granite farther up. This is going pretty well. I might actually do some decoration for once. And if you know me, you know how weird that is. How disturbing of a prospect. Definitely have to even out the floors, because gravel sounds kind of weird to walk on. Yes. I forget, does this pack let you craft gravel? Two, maybe? One? No, must be a crusher recipe or something. Oh well. Let's start to dig out a nice little crafting area for us. There, that looks good. I am going to have to hunt for where that cave is, because those skeletons are feisty. So, first of all, let's put this down. 
and let's immediately make another one, which thankfully we don't need the hatchet to do anymore. We can just make some slabs, make some wood, and there we are. And for my next trick, let's take 20 of these, and 20 of those. Let's make ourselves some patterns. And there we go, a tool station. And actually, let's do this. Snap it. Place it. Now we have a tinker table. And we can put up to eight things on our tool at once. Next up, let's do it with just a piece of wood for a stencil table. And we can take nine dead wood to craft one of these logs for our pattern builder, or part builder. And finally, we can just make a chest for our pattern chest, which I will put right back there. Yep, that looks up. Got ourselves a nice little compact tinkering area. And was that a quest? I should have checked. Ah, we need a furnace. Let's build two. Two furni. Put those right here. And there we go. Next trick, I must seek out some dirt. But before that, well, first of all, let's put. Why does it give me this thing anyway? I don't know. I've I don't think I've ever used a cutlass, and I would need a tool forge to make one anyway. Let's put all these away. Let's make four chests. And actually, let's make some signs. And how about right over here, we make a little storage alcove. Move the torch to here. We'll make this one out to be Construction locks. And this one will be farming. And now let's just make a general miscellany. Okay, let's put that, 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 all those. I can't build with these, so let's put them in there. Put that and all those. Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course, let's get rid of the books, the bone meal, the wheat, and the wood ash. Let's keep the apples on us. And down here, we can do all this. Keep that and that. Nice, clean inventory. And actually, since I have coal, let me just... there. Yeah, we might as well compact some of that down. Now I need to find that damn cave. Actually, first, first let's grab some of this and do some of that. So that I can put down all of this. Oh, hey, it's day. Wasn't I just saying that I needed to find more flint? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh dear. Maybe the surface was a mistake. I need some assistance. Uh, 
Let's make a knife blade pattern, a tool rod pattern, and let's see, that's handle modifier 108. That's handle modifier. Okay, so yeah, bone meal is just straight up better. What am I doing? Okay. And then into our tool station, we can make ourselves some throwing knives. Remember kids, ranged combat is king, because then you don't have to go up and actually poke the guy. Of course, we have to run away from that spider anyway. Go. Okay. I see ya. Mm. Another one wants to play, huh? Nope. Ooh, that was that was a scary bit of lag. And now we can get to Mr. Skeletal. I forgot about those things. And hey, we get some bones, and therefore some bone meal. So, we've got ourselves a nice little new home underground. We've got some basic tools. And we've got a cave that we need to find. I think that's a good place to stop for our first episode. Thank you all for listening, and I will talk to you later.